welcome to Happy Trails Hiking. Matt and I are camping in Fruta, Colorado, and we are going to get to go exploring in Colorado National Monument. Hope you'll hang around, see more about it along with us. Second pull out in Colorado National Monument, Balanced Rock. On our first night camping in Fruta, Colorado, we enjoyed a drive up to the Visitor Center in Colorado National Monument. Once we got to the visitor center, we couldn't resist taking an evening stroll on one of the trails. We just had to see a little more of the monument. It was beautiful. Good morning, everyone. Kay and I are staying at James M. Robb Campground near Colorado National Monument. It's a state park and it's the Fruta location. And we're currently driving into Colorado National Monument on a very beautiful and rather curvy road, speed limit 25 miles per hour. So our plan for the day, we've got all day here and no schedule, and we have identified that there are a number of short hikes. A lot of times we would try to do a long hike, but my knee is a little out of whack from the 13 miler I did a few weeks ago. So we're instead going to do a series of shorts, like you know, a half mile here, three quarters of a mile here. We're hoping to end up with at least five miles by the time it's done. So that's our plan of attack for the day. And we're gonna start with a trip to the visitor center to collect a little bit more information, see if there's anything we need to be aware of. See the bicyclers right there? They are boss bicyclers. Here at the visitor center. Colorado National Monument sits on the west side of Colorado. This monument is the brainchild of John Otto. He was the first custodian of Colorado National Monument and worked there for a dollar per month. Getting started on the Canyon Rim Trail. Visitor Center is directly behind us. We're standing on a concrete platform. You can get these views without even really hardly getting out of your car. I think our plan today of just taking short little hikes is going to be pretty nice. We hike in Missouri, we have to watch out for our mosquitoes and snakes and ticks. And the trails tend to be very well marked unless they're just totally overgrown. Here it's a little bit different. You have to be extra careful with your water. Well, you gotta be careful with water in Missouri, but you need to have extra out here because it's so dry. And we haven't seen too many mosquitoes but we are finding 
that there are biting flies and gnats. So you gotta, you still have to wear your insect repellent. And the trail here, this little half miler, is very nice in that it's not too much up and down. It's pretty easy. You don't really have to be a seasoned hiker to do this walk. And the views, well, totally worth it. Really good payoff. Hey, lizard push-up challenge. <laughs> One of the neat things that we've noticed about the Colorado National Monument is that it's not slammed with people. There are people here, and the campground at the nearby state park has a number of people in it, but it's not crazy. So it's a little bit lesser traveled, but still incredibly beautiful, and we really like that. You know, this is one of those moments that we always look for when we go hiking. We're not very far out, but we can hear in the distance over to my left a flute player and you've got this beautiful view behind me and this is one of those this is one of those moments I'm going to put in the back of my mind, you know, for some future moment when I get really stressful, I'm going to I'm going to flip back to this time and remember this spot. We noticed this formation when we came in the park last night. Got these flat top rocks. Sort of look like pancakes. Reminds me of similar formations we've seen at Garden of, Garden of the Gods, the one in Illinois. So our next trail for today is Otto's Trail and it says to walk in the footsteps of John Otto as you follow the route he used for his first ascent of Independence Monument. So we're at the end of Otto's Trail. It's got this nice barrier here, but that is Independence Monument. So the visitor center is there, and we walked along the Rim Trail to about over there, a minute ago. Early visitors thought these shapes looked like man-made structures called coke ovens. So these are not coke ovens, they just look like them. But these are, but these right here in the picture are, well, they're kind of like the charcoal kilns that we saw in Death Valley. Yep. Okay. But you're right. They do look like them. the view from the Highland View Overlook. We are here at Fallen Rock. Can we go take a look? That, my friends, right there is Fallen Rock. We are at the Ute Canyon stop on the drive through the monument. We're gonna go see you. It's not really even a trail. Well, it's kind of a little trail. 
but it's not a trail on our guidebook. It's just called an overlook. So we're gonna go see the overlook. As you can see, we just kept finding epic views. Every place we turned was just stunning. called Cold Shivers Point. So we just uh, completed our drive through the monument. We started at the West Fruit entrance and we've ended up down here at the Devil's Kitchen. It's been a, a lovely drive. This is a very beautiful park and we've done a few little hikes along the way. What do you think? I think that this uh, park gets overlooked in all the Colorado, you know, we got the Rockies and the big Colorado things, but I think that this park is overlooked. It's it's a national monument, it's not a national park, but it kind of reminds me of both the Rocky Mountains, but also like Zion and Bryce Canyon and the Colorado Plateau kind of, Grand Canyon kind of, those kinds of rocks. And so that's, I mean, don't just pass it on I-70. Stop in, it's it's definitely one that you should you should take in. Yeah, but not everybody at once, because one of the things that we liked about this place was that it's not that crowded. If you go to Zion, it's going to be crazy busy. If you're at the yep. Grand Canyon, it'll be ridiculously busy. Yeah. Um, so this may not be quite as grand on the scale, but it's still fantastic, and it's not very busy, so we recommend coming here. Yeah, until next time, this is Kay and Matt from Happy Trails Hiking. Thanks for watching.